Thank you for joining us this morning. What a horrible morning. Everyone's talking about it. Let's just get your initial reactions to this. Well, today's the 145th day of the year, and we have 212 mass shootings. In Chicago alone, we have 207 uh, gun-related deaths. So, uh, you know, I've said this as long as I've been an elected official, enough is enough. Columbine was over two decades ago. Sandy Hook was a decade ago. Uh, and yesterday, another senseless tragedy with complete innocence uh, butchered at the hands of, of assailants. Yeah, I was watching you last night as you were speaking, and I appreciated the fact that you added in what's taken place here in Chicago because the president won't have a you know press conference about that but these are still mass shootings that have taken place here as well you've had harsh words but what exactly you know in terms of measures uh, have you taken in the two decades that you feel should have changed things by now look uh, universal background checks work every day universal background checks stop 170 felons and 50 domestic abusers from getting guns from licensed uh, gun dealers in this country. We have to have universal background checks. You know, here in Chicago, you have to recognize it's a lot harder to do a carjacking without a gun. And these candidates yesterday who say, well, gun laws don't help because Chicago has strict gun laws. You know, wake up, guys. They can go right across the street in Indiana and get whatever they want. You know, there's a flood of illegal guns taking place. And I appreciate that trafficking task force that's taking place to prosecute those who mislead this. But there really is no specific federal gun trafficking legislation. So you need that, you need universal background checks, and you gotta ask yourself, why can't we ban assault weapons, right? That, that very famous uh, gun law that was overturned in Chicago by the Supreme Court, Supreme Court opinion said there is a Second Amendment right but it wasn't unlimited. If, it, if people and these candidates actually read that opinion, it said that it's limited. Not everyone should be able to get a gun, have it anywhere they want, or have any kind of gun they want. You got a 50 round clip with a, a projectile and a, and a weapon that can go through a concrete wall. You're really not defending your home or business. You're not hunting deer, you're hunting people. And we witness that all too often. Hmm. Congressman, um, just going through some of my Facebook comments right now, a lot of people are just saying, you know, what we are doing isn't working. What will it take? Uh, what are your conversations going to be like with some of your colleagues across the aisle? Because a lot of people want to know what is next? What are we going to do? Because they're, they're sick and tired of hearing the same old rhetoric and the, the cycle of this. It's getting too much for a lot of people. So what are the conversations going to be like with your colleagues across the aisle? You know, here's what they have been like in 13 years I've been in Congress. Uh, you know, spare us the flags at half staff, moment of silence, thoughts and prayers only. You know, it's become a cliche. It's almost become mocking to the victims of gun violence. Do something about this. Take a bold stand. And in reality, it's not all that bold because the majority of gun owners want universal background checks. The majority of members of the NRA want universal background checks because they don't want bad people to get guns. No single measure is going to solve this problem. Indeed, it is a public health crisis and should be treated as that as well. But you have to take the first step. They have to show you care. You know, was I very concerned yesterday? Not just about this, sure. But I'm more concerned that the country has become desensitized, a feeling that we are, you know, resigned to this fate and that we can't accomplish anything. The House has passed these measures uh, in the last session of Congress. Uh, in this session of Congress, uh, the Senate can't take it up, but we can do more. It just takes the will. Congressman, we want to thank you for joining us as we take a live look at what's happening right now in Texas. And let's hope we never, ever become desensitized to something like this. We appreciate your time. Thank you.